question five, we have this function here given f of x equals two over x squared minus nine. So we want to find the domain and we want to justify why certain values are excluded. The restriction on the domain here is that x squared minus nine cannot equal zero, which means that x squared cannot equal nine, which means that x cannot equal plus or minus three. There are two values of x that cannot be equal to because either of those, if we square them, we get nine. And if we do that minus nine, we're going to get a denominator of zero. If we graph this function, this is what it's going to look like. And what you'll see is that there are what we call vertical asymptotes. We could draw in a vertical line here at x equals three. Let me do that. And we could draw in another one at x equals negative three. And the function will never touch these lines. If we zoom in, there's always going to be a gap. We will never be at these lines. And so this is why when we define the domain, we need a restriction to specify that x can never equal plus or minus three. And I would define the domain like this. Domain is x is of the set from negative infinity to negative three, union negative three to three, union three to infinity. That is how I would define the domain. You could also say x is less than negative three or negative three is less than x is less than three or three is less than x. These two lines are giving the same definition. I prefer to use set notation because I find it easier to read. I find this requires me to think harder to understand. 